One of the great things about the ancient Egyptian archaeological record is that it preserves not just what they were hoping to be preserved, but it also preserves the failures of the ancient Egyptian architects and builders. So some of the things that we have in the archaeological record are the failures, like pyramids that didn't quite work out, um, or attempts to build sculptures or obelisks that cracked in the ground. And so actually from these failures, we can learn about how the ancient Egyptians tried to make these artifacts, because we're not going to take apart the artifacts once they're already built, but if we can find them sort of midway through construction, we can actually learn a lot about them. So there's a line drawing of uh, Jehudi, Jehudi Hotep, who is a local mayor of a town in Egypt, and on his tomb wall it shows um, one of the things he did great in his life. So he's trying to sort of impress people who come by his tomb. And one of the impressive things that he did was he had this huge sculpture being built, and he was able to move and transport the sculpture using really simple techniques. So in this tomb scene, we can see water pours, men pouring water in front of the statue as it's being moved, because normally if you're moving a really heavy statue in sand, sand's going to build up and actually push against the object being moved. And so in the image we see how they got around this. They poured water on top of the sand, which made a sort of slippery, flat surface that then they were able to pull really heavy statues across the sand without as much resistance as sand would normally provide.